See if you can figure out what Boston might do in game yeah. two, Nicole. <laughs> Well, you know, keep in mind, Tyron Lewis said that, that LeBron's physicality was a, a huge deal for the Cavs. We're going to file that under the duh category. In case you're wondering, <laughs> there were cheers coming from the Cavs locker room. And the general consensus as everyone was leaving the floor here for Boston was, wow, they really are just that good. If you are Brad Stevens, what can you do? Well, if you can't activate Anderson and Buchegoss to, to guard LeBron, I think you just have to pick your poison. It looked a lot worse, Nicole, than it, than it was because they missed all the threes. Had they made some threes in the first half, the strategy wouldn't have looked as bad. LeBron realized right away what they were doing. Right. They said, all right, we're going to play him with one guy. Brad talked to us pregame, and he said, we've got to stay in front of LeBron. Well, guess what? You can't stay in front of LeBron. He's too strong. And he kept getting to the basket. And when Isaiah made good decisions on the other end and threw it to his three-point shooters, they didn't make it. So the Cavalier strategy did work. They were physical with Isaiah. They said, make other people beat you. The other people weren't up to the test. They shot two for 16 in the first half. So uh, it was a combination of both things. It made it look a lot worse than it actually was. I don't know that they will change their strategy. 